As we sink into these colder months, there's always that feeling of not feeling accomplished enough, of having so many things still left to do. And I find that in these times, not only for myself, but for my clients, my friends, my family members, this is a time where we can be a little bit harder on ourselves than we actually deserve to be. And it's because we've bought into this notion that once December hits, it's the last month to truly, truly make this year exactly what it needed to be. If we haven't reached our goals yet, now's the time to really crank up the volume, crank up the heat. And although that can be a time where we take these loose ends and we start to tie them together and complete certain things that we really did want to complete, we have to make sure that we are not overworking ourselves or burning ourselves out in the process or being very hypercritical and judgmental of the self as we do it. When we manifest, as we live, we really do have to focus in on the how, right? How are we getting this done? How are we speaking to ourselves? How are we creating these boundaries with others? How we do something is how we do everything. And so if you are cranking up the heat and cranking up the volume in a way that your body is literally telling you, hey, this is this is not working. I'm I'm crashing. I am so depleted. I'm feeling unloved. I'm feeling unnurtured. I'm feeling completely overstimulated. We cannot just try to bypass the feelings that our physical body is giving us, our emotional body is giving us, our mental body is giving us, and our spiritual body is giving us. We have to move throughout this next chapter in a way that not only gets us to what our goals are, but we do so in a way that actually feels super fulfilling, super truthful, super authentic, and super comfortable for us as well. And it's the kind of comfort that doesn't trap us and keep us stuck. It's not like we are doing things only in a way to stay in our comfort zone, but we also don't want to stretch ourselves too far or expand ourselves to the point where we then break, because then what happens? If we don't make that change, if we don't stop, then the universe and life is going to create that stop. It's going to create that halt so that we can find some peace. We can find some relaxation. We can reclaim our power and our energy back to ourselves. It'll make us sick. It'll make us, you know, have a flat tire and then we have to go to the shop and get it done and we can't go to work. It's always going to throw something in our path. It's like a little wrench in our system to remind us like, hey, although we have these goals, we have to accomplish them in a way that is actually conducive to our health and well-being as well. So this is just a little love letter and a little reminder to those of you who are seeing the end of the year approach and you're starting to get more flustered than ever. Now is not the time to put more pressure on the self. How can we alleviate this angst? How can we alleviate all of this responsibility? How can we alleviate all of the projections we're putting onto ourselves in a way that makes us feel more balanced so that we can get done what it is that we need to? It's also really important at this time to remind yourself that you don't need the end of the year or the beginning of the year to get things done for that last boost of motivation. You can start right where you are, no matter where you believe you are, right? We can oftentimes have a whole entire list of things that we want to do in terms of, hey, this is the emotional baggage that I've been carrying and I know I cannot carry it, carry it into my future relationships. Or, hey, this is the way that I perceive myself and I know that this is what's been keeping me stuck in the same trap or cycle or pattern over and over and over again when I'm working on my confidence, right? So we can have this long list of things that we actually want to heal or alchemize or work through. But if we are constantly judging ourselves and saying, well, 
we really should have been working on this three months ago. Well, we really should have started working on this at the beginning of the year when it was our New Year's resolution. Well, we really, you know, have to get it done yesterday now that we only have one month left of the year. Let's eliminate a lot of the meanings that are not serving us. And so if you have to do a mental check and say, what meaning have I been putting on this aspect of my life that I don't really love or that I'm looking to change or that I'm wanting to integrate? What is a different meaning that I can put on it that's actually going to propel me towards that evolution, towards that growth, towards that positive change, towards that transformation? What are the meanings that I have on certain aspects of my life that I don't prefer that are pretty negative, that are holding me down, that are keeping me in a constant loop of anxiety, of stress, of burnout. We have to be able to take apart these different aspects of our life or these different aspects of the self in a way where we have the bird's eye view. Because when we have the bird's eye view, we're no longer in the midst of it all, where it's confusing us, where it's causing us some mental strain or fatigue, we can take a look at ourselves, at our lives from that bird's eye perspective. This is where I typically like to call in my higher self or my ancestors or my spirit guides, my spiritual team. And I say, hey, can you show me a different perspective of this real quick? Because I know that as I'm living life, as I'm going through the motions, as I'm doing the day, I really am so caught up with everything that's going on that I'm just reacting to things or I'm just on autopilot or I'm just falling back on these old habits and behaviors that I usually do and I don't see myself going anywhere new. And that's what I want. I want something new. I want to change my life. I want to manifest this abundance. I want to have a different kind of relationship. I want to love myself more. I want to be able to show up at work as my most confident self. I want to show up authentically with my friends and family. But when I'm living in this life, it's just not happening. So please, higher self, show me this bird's eye perspective. Show me this, this, this vantage point that I truly do have. And from there... Let me go ahead and consolidate some things. Let me go ahead and air some things out with myself. Let me go ahead and cultivate or create a plan, a certain certain promise that I can give myself that I know that I can keep and uphold, right? It's not about taking my life and having to change it completely 180 from one day to another, but it's about seeing where I'm at right now, understanding the meanings that I'm putting behind this, understanding the energy that I have already put into this formula that doesn't work. There's a certain energy that I've been putting into my life, my relationships, my health, my career that, you know what? It doesn't go. This ingredient needs to get out of the freaking recipe, like throw it out of the kitchen. <laughs> I don't want it anymore because this has been souring up my mixture of life, right? This has been adding way too much spice and anger and frustration, and resentment and bitterness into the recipe that is my life. So when you have that bird's eye perspective, you're airing out the things, you're seeing the ingredients that you've been putting in that no longer serve this certain dish. And then from here, you can start to make that plan and say, all right, what is one step today, this week, this month that I can make that I know if I were consistent at doing it, it would lead me down a path for myself that I feel more resonates with who I am becoming, not who I have been or who I was, or even really truly who I am. It is okay to want to be a different person than who you are right now. It is totally, 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 totally okay. But if we don't have a plan to maneuver and navigate our way into the person that we are becoming, then we're just going to rely on what we've always relied on, and it's going to keep us feeling stuck. So I say all of this 
at this very special and crucial time of year where we're always hearing about a New Year's resolution, a new year, new me, or the end of the year is coming, all these things you have left to do. And then we've got the shopping, and then we've got the cooking, and then we've got the cleaning, and then we've got all of these other aspects of life that sometimes feel like they're all piling on in this very, very special month that is meant for warmth, meant for nurturing, meant for slowing down in many ways as well. If we're looking at nature and not necessarily the societal expectations and pressures, this is truly a time to wind down, hibernate a little bit more, allow ourselves to feel nurtured by ourselves, nurtured by others, feel comfort in things dying down. Feel like you have a moment to yourself a little bit, right? So during this time, no matter where you're, you are right now in your personal development, self-growth, or healing journey, remember that no matter where you think that you are, you can start new. You can start fresh. You can start again. If you were consistent with something this year and then you fell off, you can start again. Start now. Start here. It is fine. If you've had to go to the drawing board 12 times this year, that's okay. Start again. Start fresh. Start now and start here. You've literally got this alleviate yourself from the pressures that you've been putting on yourself. Give yourself some grace. Give yourself kindness. Give yourself some time, but give yourself a plan. <laughs> give yourself a plan. And if you need help creating this plan for yourself, creating this vision of what you want your life to look like or the relationships that you have in your life with others or even yourself, if you're needing a little bit more of encouragement, of support, of guidance, or even to just be held accountable, that's where I invite you to step into my world, right? I really, really do believe that when you listen to me here on a podcast or you watch one of my distance healing videos or you are just seeing me show up in the online space for myself, my business, my clients, manifesting success over and over and over again. And you're like, I resonate with that. Like there's something that really keeps me watching these sleep videos all the time from Mystique or there's something that really captivates me when she teaches on this certain topic or I just love and admire the way that she sets her mind to something and then she goes for it and she does it very publicly if if any of that has resonated with you throughout the years or even if you're just meeting me now and this is your first time hello welcome love to have you here in my world come a little bit closer Come a little bit closer. Knock on the door. It's unlocked. It's ready and waiting for you. But it's up to you to take that step in. And from there, that, that's where the magic happens. That's where we can collaborate. And so what I have available for you, if you're listening to this on the day that it's actually coming out, then you'll know it is Monday. December 2nd of 2024. I typically hate to timestamp my videos because truly any, any of my resources are timeless. But for this case specifically, you're watching or hearing this on Cyber Monday, which means I do have my Cyber Monday deals going on, which makes it that much easier for you to come into my world with a lower risk if finances are something that you really think hard about when you are investing in yourself. So I have 50% off of my Reiki healing sessions, whether they are in person and you live locally to me in Chicago or in the surrounding suburbs. And I also have those healing sessions 50% off as well online. So for those of you who are not local to me, then you can find me online as well. I have 50% off my best selling program, Beyond Balance, which is a culmination of all of the healing techniques that I've learned to help me personally and all of my clients who have enrolled in this program release stress and anxiety, 
overwhelm and burnout, and overall any unwanted or lingering energy or trauma that has been stuck in the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual body. And in this program as well, we also do go over many different techniques to help you manifest success in your health and well-being, in your wealth and finances, and in your relationships too. If you've seen my Reiki videos and you see all my jewelry that I wear, then you would know that all of it is crystal infused and Reiki infused. And it is from Earth Magic Jewels, which is an Etsy shop that me and my mom have created and run together for the past four years. Super special, near and dear to my heart. Everything there is handmade. And we also make custom pieces. So we have 10% off of all of that jewelry and there are more deals of course the last one i will leave you off with is the awakening vault and the reason i ended off on this one is because i have recently decided to begin my memberships again i used to have memberships at the beginning of my career and then i fell off to focus on other pursuits and now i'm back into memberships because it is just the best way to stay consistent so i do have 50 percent off your first month for the Awakening Vault membership. And in this membership, you have access to all of my past masterclasses, trainings, all of the workshops that I've hosted, as well as my live replays of Reiki sessions that I do for the general community and also one-on-one -on -one mini Reiki sessions that I host on my live streams. And of course, you will have exclusive access to long form distance Reiki videos. So not just 60 seconds, not just a quick little two minute video. It'll be 20 minutes and up for all of those videos. So again, this is a perfect, perfect time to invest in yourself, to start now, to use this moment of reflection to say, okay, maybe I did just need a little bit of encouragement. Maybe I did just need a little bit more consistency. Maybe I did just need a community of like-minded people to support me in this process, to keep me motivated, to keep me going, to have someone I can share my wins with, right? To ask questions of the people who have the best perspectives for me. You want to make sure that you're coming into my world, okay? So, awakening soul, I love you so very much. I will see you in the next podcast. And if you haven't done so already, please leave a review. It would mean the world to me. If you were to leave a review, tag me on Instagram. I may even send you a cute little gift for anyone who tags me and raise awareness for this Awakening Mindset podcast, not only to help me, but to help the rest of the community as well with their awakening journey. I will see you in the next one. Bye.